Good evening, everybody. Uh, welcome to another Lesson Picks Live. I'm Bill Binko, my co-founder and buddy, Lori Binko, my wife. And we are uh, we're joined tonight with our, our friend Beth Poss. Say hi, Beth. And Tally Kellerstein is going to talk about all kinds of fun stuff tonight. Um, we're going to cover a bunch of new stuff. If you have questions, please type them in the uh, wherever you are. If you're on YouTube, we'll see them. If you're on uh, Facebook, we'll see them. If you have a choice on Facebook, watch it on the page, not in the group, but either one is fine. I will post here to say hi to everyone so that you know we're listening. So hopefully that made it through. It did. So we will um, we will see um, your questions probably more at the end than at the beginning. But we're ready to get started. We have a lot to talk about this week. We got new templates and the CEC, and somebody's got a Kickstarter campaign that she probably wants to show. <laughs> So we're going to do that probably <laughs> first. Um, Who so is that somebody? Let's let's let Tally in here. Hi, Tally. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Thanks so much for having me on. It's so fun, uh, so fun to be here and to see you um, virtually this time. I was so lucky I got to see you in person at uh, ASHA. It was great to see you. Yeah, it's, it's been uh, forever. We've we've actually been friends with Tally for I don't know eight years. Like you've been using Lesson Picks for a long, long time. I think since 2016. So yeah. coming up to to yeah. 10 years. Yeah. Yeah. And um, and she's one of our power users. Tally has used this forever. You are a speech pathologist in Canada. In Toronto, YZZ. yeah. What, what, what is the Y Y Z? Very good. There you go. So um that's the that's the they the use airport. that. It's the it's the airport code, but they use that as where they live, right? Off and also the six. That's the other one. Like in Drake's songs, if you hear the six, that's us because the area code is four one six. Okay, they're, they're <laughs> mid, they live in the middle wow, of nowhere, Canada. Very, yeah, yeah. very specific there. Yep. We're, we're in lovely Florida, and Beth is in lovely, um, we're, lovely Maryland. We're in seventy seven. We are in we're in seventy seven. <laughs> And, and Beth is in Rockville. I was going to ask, who is the other person here today? I already I introduced her. Hi, Beth. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. I'm here. Like I'm, yeah. I'm in the. I'm in the. I'm in the two hundred eight four two. I don't know. I'm in the DMV. There's all sorts of slang we can. Yeah. See, I'll, I'll leave little DMV. notes in Drake's uh, mailbox for you guys, just so he can give a shout out in, in his next songs. <laughs> okay, you do that. <laughs> wow. There you go. <laughs> so, um, so Beth is our speech pathologist here at Lesson Picks. She works with us on a daily basis. And if you've got a training, uh, you've definitely seen Beth. She's also director of a curriculum. What is it, Beth? Education. Educational Edu programs, That's whatever it. that might mean. Educational programs. I noticed that we have actually, we have something else that Beth, you could talk about if you want to when we're done. Uh, I believe we got an announcement from Readtopia Go that they're shipping this week. They are going, I believe they are going live on the first. So, so maybe we'll, we'll circle back around to you so you can go over briefly what you can do with lesson picks to support that. That might be handy. Yeah. You, we, we, we plan on the fly here. So Beth now has <laughs> 10 minutes to figure out what on earth she can say on that. Yeah. Okay. So, so um, everybody welcome. I'm glad you could, uh, glad you could join us. Uh, and uh, we're going to, we're going to jump right in. So Tally. Tally had an announcement. That she, she does. She has an announcement. Oh, she's been all over social media. I have been busy, busy, busy. Uh, tomorrow is a week since I launched uh, my first Kickstarter. And I'm curious as people are watching, if you could let us know in the comments if you've heard of Kickstarter before and if you've ever um, bought a product on Kickstarter. Because as I uh, dived into this world, I saw a lot of people in my circle are not familiar with Kickstarter. So I'm going to give it just a brief description of what it is and then talk about how Party Time Bingo is involved in that. Uh, so Kickstarter is a crowdfunding platform that allows people to um, raise funds for a product or creation. So you'll see a lot of artists, filmmakers, game designers um, put it, launching products on Kickstarter. And the idea is it's not a charity, even though it, it sort of works like GoFundMe, where you're giving a creator um, a sum of money. It's um, it's not a charity in that you get a product at the end. So you, you make a pledge and you can get different packages. So you can, in my case, you can pledge on just the game or you can pledge on a, a combination of the game behind me and the book Party Animals. Um, and there's various combinations that you can pledge on. And here's the kicker with Kickstarter. 
you have a certain amount that you need to raise. So you, as the creator, pick what you're going to do. And for us, we calculated that in order to manufacture and ship, it's approximately, it's going to be just over a 10,000 Canadian dollars. Uh, so that's fewer US dollars. Um, but uh, so we, we set our goal at 8,000. If we don't raise that amount in the allotted time, so mine goes until March 23rd, if we don't raise that amount, we lose everything. So you, it's an all or nothing campaign. And so a lot is riding on it. So right now we've raised 3,000 Canadian dollars. Um, if you're watching the uh, site from any other country, it, it'll show up in your denomination. So Americans are going to see a different uh, number on your site, but uh, we have to put it in, in the denomination of where we live. And so if we do not raise the $8,000 by the end of the campaign, we lose everything we have raised to this point. So there's quite a lot of uh, pressure <laughs> to have a successful campaign. And um, I'll show you uh, what party time bingo is. I'm thinking, well, maybe I'll show it this way. And then if we need to share screen, I'll, uh, yeah. I'll switch and it to my table. So Tally, just, just before you do, yeah. so you, you said that in very much the view from your side, which is if we don't make it, we'll lose it. But the flip side of that is if they don't make enough to make the product, the people who pledge the money don't lose the money. That's right. right. Thank right. you. That's a really important point. Yes. Right. Yeah, so, yeah and, so and it is the idea behind crowd fund, crowdfunding uh, or crowdsourcing is that if you've got something that you think is going to make it, right? You think this is going to be great for speech pathologists, but you don't have funds to just go do it or the time yeah. to just go do it. You need X amount of funds to do it. This allows the people who believe in it and think it's going to work to get behind you and let you do this where the the, the risk is shared among the people who are going to benefit from it. So. Exactly. Usually, and in your case, if you if you pledge this, you're going to get it at a discount if you pledge it beforehand versus if yeah. you buy it after it's a product on the shelf, right? Exactly, exactly right. Exactly right. right. Yeah. So all of the prices we have in there are discounted from retail, and that's such a good point that backers don't lose anything if the campaign doesn't uh, doesn't fund. <laughs> that's right. right. Yep. Yeah. Um, so uh, Beth knows very well because we presented on games together. That games is very, very central to my practice. I really feel like they're um, incredibly motivating and they help um, build connections for ideas in a way that um, that other that other activities um, just don't always feed into that excitement that that's inherent in a game. And um, so I, it's been a long time dream of mine to make my own game. I took some of the ingredients that I really loved of the um, wall of ball board games that are on the other side of this uh, screen and infuse them into this uh, game Party Time Bingo. So Party Time Bingo is a bingo game, as the name um, suggests, and the kids get one of each get one of four scenes. And the scenes are each a different uh, season, but happen in the same park and a different theme. And so I'll show you, for example, if we are playing the pirate one, uh, on the one side, they're going to see that they're invited to this pirate party. On the other side is the pirate scene. And I have reversible little bingo boards. So on the one side, they can collect, if you have this dots pattern, you're going to collect tokens that are the supplies for the party. And the plaid tokens are going to be the guests for the party. And you can play it in various ways. There's a little token bag with uh, so you know which uh, tokens you're looking for. So if you're looking for your party animals, I'm just going to grab one here so you can see. So here I've got the baboon. You can see that baboon is uh, it's mirrored on the screen. So I just have to look there to see there. There it is. And then you're going to collect your your piece um, and the kids play to collect all of their animals and or all of their supplies. And you could do that the baboon, for example, you could do that on the other side. In this case, it would be a color matching exercise because the ones that don't match have a different background color. So gotcha. this is Dodo. She's from a different game. And that's uh, that's party time bingo in a nutshell. We've uh, tested it a lot within our community and it was very well received. And for, what, is, oh, so what, are the, what are the age groups for this, the age target ages for this? So I think the sweet spot is sort of JK through uh, around third grade um, okay. or grade three in Canada. <laughs> and, uh, so sort of that, that age group. 
Um, so your kids who are four to around eight, nine years old. Um, I wanted to make the illustrations um, kind of, you know, not so juvenile that uh, that older kids would feel, uh, you know, condescended to, but still bright and engaging for our, our younger kids. Um, you know, they have to have enough, uh, like, detection skills. They have to be able to work through a busy uh, scene. Um, but for, for the most part, uh, your average school-age kid, uh, and when we're working on our tick, I've, I've put, um, so your average school-age kid should be able to to work with a Where's Waldo style board. Excellent. All right. So um, you are, obviously you've got prototypes made. That's what we're looking at. Yeah. Right yeah. Yeah. And so you, you, and you've tested it with kids and actually I've seen videos of kids playing it and, and getting all excited and, and, you know, probably arguing and doing all the normal stuff <laughs> things kids do about this game. Um, it is not. So just so everybody's clear. Um, Tally generally does everything right, right? She follows all the rules correctly. Um, and so you use lesson books all the time, but you didn't use our symbols in your your game because they're not commercially available. We don't we don't allow that. And I love it. I love that you went out and had your own your own symbols made, right? You had to actually have some, you paid somebody to draw yeah. something or you learn to draw real well, right? Oh, I wish. No, Elise <laughs> Conlon is my illustrator and she's illustrated all of the products in the Excellent. line. Nice. Um, and so there's real continuity. So if you're using the book, the book is a collection of sound loaded poems. Mm -hmm. um, and if you're using the book, then the game then feeds right into it because it's all the same characters. Mm -hmm. And I've organized the game boards like just as a little Easter egg for, for speech pathologists, I've organized all the game boards according to the way those sounds are made. So if you're working on later developing sounds, then those animals are all going to be on the same game board um, in the game. And, uh, you know, my PBMs, those are all in my, on one of the earlier developing game boards. So as a speech path, it should be easy for you to mix and match and still have a coordinated session cool nice. very cool and so I, I happen to know that you can buy you can you can pledge money to uh party time bingo and get the books as well because i i heard somebody might have asked for that right <laughs> on, the, yes. on the bulk things <laughs> on the bulk things thank so, you yeah. <laughs> yeah so i we have four four levels of pledges it, it it gets a little bit confusing some some sometimes people have many many levels of pledges and um, it's, it's a, it gets a little bit confusing, but basically what you're thinking is that you're, you're pledging, um, you're pledging for a kit or a, a package. And so for us, our first package is just the game. Our second package is the game with the book. And then we have two bulk options, and that would be for larger clinics, for schools, for retailers, or if you really want to be ahead of the game and have birthday presents to last you for every party next year, because the game works for both boys and girls. And uh, <laughs> so on that level, there's a bulk level where you can get eight copies of the game. And then there's another bulk level where you can get eight copies of both the book and the game. Uh, and like Bill said, they're all in uh, pro right now it's in prototype format. And once we're on the other side of the Kickstarter, uh, then we can know if we fund it and if we can uh, order it and then we put in the order for manufacturing and it um, would get shipped here and we're aiming to have them uh, in North America um, by by the Christmas season. So we're, we're hoping to have them here by the fall, uh, early winter. Okay. Well, cool. I'm glad you came on to chat about it. Now, you do Thank use you. us for all the other things you do in your therapy. So we Everything. Are gonna, <laughs> we are going to talk about lesson fix here for the, for the vast majority of this, but we thought, you know what? Tally's been with us forever, and she has um, promoted lesson picks everywhere. Like I, I, I did want to add on that because whenever I see Tally, and if you go to her YouTube channel for the Speak with Teeth, you can watch her videos, which are amazing for anybody. Thank you. And I love the fact that she is never about one product, and neither am I, neither is Beth. Like we're, she uses lesson picks in combination with every board game and books and all kinds of materials in such creative ways. I love to see wasn't, what Sally wasn't does. Wasn't Tally the one who made the, the, the Rapunzel with the hair? Yes. yes. So oh. She's a master symbol builder. <laughs> um, so so just, just to briefly explain that, when we came out with the symbol builder, like we got this bug because something wasn't working right. And I went to look at what they were doing, and it was Tally. And she had <laughs> she had used the symbol builder 
to make this entire huge scene with a with a, a tower and a, and a girl and her hair hanging down and a prince on a on a steed and like 800, 800 things in this picture. And I'm like, well, yeah, you're you're radically overdoing what we thought anybody was going to use this tool for. Super cool. Um, she did large and small pictures. And we fixed that. the bugs and it works. And um, it, but yeah, she always is the one who stretches what our tool can do. Right. She hits every boundary of, of where we can go with it. So. Um, so no regrets because I, I use that template all the time. I, I just used it last week and I pulled it up, Bill, if you want to sh share it, I can show it. I, I just put it on my screen. Oh, uh, right. <laughs> that's it. Um, that this is an amazing book. So it's called falling for Rapunzel and, uh, the prince keeps wanting Rapunzel to come down, but he keeps giving her rhyming words or she keeps hearing rhyming words because she's too far. So he asks for hair, she throws down her underwear. He asks for, he gives a new word. He asks for tresses, she throws down dresses. It's, it's a fabulous book and I love it for um, working with on R with kids. Right, um, right. And so this allowed me to make the perfect uh, follow up. And I use lesson picks, yes, with, with everything, but it enhances all of my, it's like salt in my, uh, oh, therapy session, good. right? Like no that. matter what I do, we're going to add a little and it's going to make it better. Excellent. And that's, that's how I see it. Now today you would do this in PowerPoint, right? If you were going to yeah. do that same thing, you wouldn't use the build, the symbol builder for that. You'd do it in PowerPoint. Yeah. 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 Okay. Just making uh, sure. So <laughs> I just want to say like people that I always show Tali stuff when I'm doing trainings and specifically if I'm doing it to speech pathologists who are working on motor speech disorders, I always show them how in the sharing center, you can search and you can search for materials, but you can also search for people who have contributed to the sharing center. So if you search for Tali in the sharing center, TLI, you're going to see all of the awesome stuff that she had. And I know there's more that she's made that she hasn't necessarily put in the sharing center, but all the really amazing things that she's put in the sharing center, which are, you know, First of all, awesome to use. Second of all, inspirational. Like I tell people, like use what's in the sharing center to give you ideas. And I always, always, always show Tali's stuff in there. And then I tell them to follow her on Instagram because she posts really cool things on her Instagram. Thank page. you. <laughs> and Beth did just post in uh, in the comments a link to Tally's stuff, I believe, right? Yep. I've been trying to, it keeps, I took it out because every time I try to post it, it keeps trying to tag her in it and then it messes up the, uh, I'll tell you what I can I I will add it then hold on yeah because I'm I keep trying to put it in there and I'm not having luck but That's this right. might be a good segue I really wanted to show people a template I've been using a lot lately um, especially speech pathologists who are the, who are here can I uh, do that now especially while you're yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Love it. so this is a cutting lines template and I don't use it for cutting lines um, I love it because I've just been using. Um, the strategy to teach R, where we're starting with an L, um, so it's, that's not old news. People have been uh, using L to shape R for a while, but I give it a new identity. And so what I talk to kids about is that we're not making R, we're making R back L. And so we talk about making an L with a, in the front of your mouth, and it's going to say lamb. And now you need to move your tongue a little bit more back in your mouth and you're going to have a middle R. And do you see how beautifully this template does that for me? Ah. Now we've got a middle L and now we're going to make something like, um, it's neither an L nor an R. It's somewhere in the middle. And now we're going to push our tongue further back and now we're going to get Ram. And I have all of these uh, words that are, uh, oh, I'm switching it on your screen, um, that are minimal pairs. Uh -huh. uh, rhyming words that, that would transition your L to your R and this idea of the front, the front tongue position versus the back tongue position. And uh, this template has been a savior for me for that. I know many so people who my would daughter, love that. My daughter is having so <laughs> many trouble with R's right now. So she oh, she's thrilled with yes. that, right? Have have Ali call me because R is my absolute favorite. So well, we'll do we'll do another lesson picks live where all you do is you give do all your R. R's. Get everybody on. It will be the number one biggest lesson picks live ever if we do that. I promise you. 
I do have a YouTube video with tips for R, and it is the one that has the biggest hits. I <laughs> so bet. It's, we, it is we, a universal we'll problem, we, this R. <laughs> we will set it up and we will do nothing but R on our next time. Okay. <laughs> and you can yeah. we'll do it after we'll do it when your Kickstarter is launched. When when you've met, met your goal, have you back. Thank and we'll you. Do nothing but R. Sounds good as well all as R party. all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, we'll celebrate for 10 minutes and then we'll do <laughs> nothing but R. Party time. So um so yeah, so so I'm glad you showed that. I actually hadn't seen that. We have um, other new templates to show. Now, that is not a new template, but it is a good use of that. I had, had you thought of that template, uh, that use, Beth? No. I hey. used it for different speech things, but more like connecting events. Like this happened, and then this happened. But I hadn't thought about it from. It's that. a really good. It's a really chat. good way to, to add visual of where do you think you are right now, right? Where are you on? Yeah, how close to R are you? You know, can you move it back any further? Right, you can show it. It's nice. Well, it's, it's also, not, it's your tongue is sort of moving that way, right? Like right. the yeah. shape. I'm sitting there right. doing that, like the SLP. I'm like, yeah, I'm pulling my tongue back in that. It's kind of matches that wavy line a little bit. So, it's also a great template for S blends. So you can go spots. I think that's the most popular use. Uh, you know, if it's not for cutting lines, I think that's the most popular use of that uh, template. And I see people do that on those long sounds like, mm, or, you know, yeah, yeah. In right. order to kind of enter the sound. But yeah. That's right. Very cool. All right. Let's talk about. Um, well, we kind of touched on something that was good. Okay. Something well, you it was, about. well, it, Tally had talked about um, putting lesson picks with the oh, games. Yep. And how, you know, you can combine different things. Well, one of our new templates works really well with something you can combine. <laughs> okay, what am I showing? <laughs> well, I mean, you have to go on Amazon and you have to buy these, yes. right? You can't just get it from Lesson Picks and print it out, but they are our new scra our scratch off tickets. Oh, let's put you over here. All right, so these are huge and, and it has now become kind of an obsession around our place. So they are a lot of fun and everybody I've used it with adults and kids have enjoyed scratch off lotto tickets. Yep. And I'm going to post in the, uh, in here, this is not an affiliate link. It's just a normal link. Uh, I posted in the, in there to show what we're talking about. So these are stickers that you can turn into lotto tickets. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. And Tally, we talked about this and you gave me a great idea for it. But then I needed to print it for you. So I will show yours too. But let's show Lori's first. Let's show classically what did we add to Lesson Picks to make so this work. Recently, we've added tickets. And that was yeah. somewhere around um, Polar Express time and movie tickets. So around Christmas time, I believe. It sounds right. Uh, maybe Thanksgiving. But we started adding tickets in there. And they're just under Create Materials. Let me, let me share my screen. There okay. you go. So on Lesson Picks, if we go under Create Materials... And you can type in tickets or you can scroll down, right, leave so under learning tickets. games. There you go. And so we've had these for a while. These are tickets like raffle tickets or mm -hmm. you know, golden tickets, that kind of stuff. Yep. But you added new options here. New so styles, yes. We hit next. And don't worry about what's in here yet. We'll come back to this page. Um, but there's now a lot more ticket styles in here. And these that say scratch off are all new. And so all these scratch off ones are specifically sized so that they work well with either rectangular or circular tickets that you buy from Amazon. Now, the, these are not expensive, right? So the 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 ticket ones are um, you're cut in half. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. So um, they are about twenty dollars for three thousand. Yeah. And twelve for one thousand. Something like that. Like, yeah. There's a lot of stickers and stickers, and we've been using a ton of them and haven't even made a dent. And I'm going to try. I tried to post the link to this. It, it made it to YouTube, and now it's made it to Facebook. So that's the, the one. Let me show folks how this works. Sure. So, right. so here's one of our tickets that you can show on your camera. Yeah, let's do this. That's an ice cream one. All right. So this is an ice cream one. We'll show it up close like that. And you can put anything you want inside, you know, obviously right. it's a so, lesson picks template. And yeah, yeah, obviously the pictures in your tray will show up in here with their words. Mm -hmm. And you want to give me a sticker? Betcha. So they, they peel off and they're, they, they, they look just like 
stickers, right? And so I'll try to be careful. I'm not the most careful person. All right. So once that's on there, this now becomes like a really great reward, right? This becomes um, an incentive, a reward that you can give somebody. You don't know what's in the reward ticket. And then you take your quarter. The kid takes their quarter, right? And when you scratch. Coins work the best. I've tried all kinds of other things and the coin still works. Agreed. So what so, did I win anyways? You get a fidget. A f I get a fidget. Okay. Woohoo! Choose, Choose a fidget. A fidget. There yeah, you go. You. And this this is kind of cool. I can scratch. And Darla says you can scratch off that sticker. Yeah, I can scratch off that sticker, and it totally works. It looks, it looks and feels exactly like, exactly like a um, a lotto ticket. So what you have underneath, it's it's got the silver kind of top. Right. On a clear sticker. Right. So there's a clear sticker. If you look carefully, you'll still see the shininess right there. Yeah. I could probably peel it off. Probably not now. But um, <laughs> what, we, what I like, one of the things I like about it, and Lori is less excited about this than I am, is you can stick another sticker on there and not have to print it he again. He's tried this yeah. again. And, and again. it works. And I, and I, I have not hit <laughs> a limit. To, a pile of eventually, if you don't scratch it off fully, then it won't stick well. But like. Give me another sticker. I'll show. Them. <laughs> I'll show them all the styles. So I promise. Proud. Okay. But, there you go, sir. All right. So we'll take this off and scratch, clean that off. Blow it. And we'll just look. And I can reuse this one. And yeah, you can see that it's been scratched before, but the kids don't know. But if you laminate it, if then you, yeah, if you yeah sure. If you laminate it, it absolutely. And um, so let's show some other. Um, Why. Put little us in here. See? Little, oh, there's little us. Little us. I love this. I was exploring the t the the tickets in the I, I had looked I'd searched for them differently, so I didn't realize there were so many so many templates of them. It was so exciting. So <laughs> Dar Darla is already obsessed. So there you go. <laughs> so she's already ordered them. They're on the way. Oh, there's um, like so many ideas you can do with this, but just starting with all right, the reinforcer. So this this first one was your your um, ice cream. This one is the lucky duck. A lucky duck. And uh, you want to scratch them all? It doesn't it, you can scratch that one if you. I know he wants to. You can't help it, it right? <laughs> so I'm this, thinking this. of making one of the rewards on our stickers for our therapy center that you get another lotto ticket. Like, <laughs> so you get to scratch too. We it's we knew these yeah. not the lesson picks because it what didn't exist as a lesson picks template at the time. But when I was an assistant principal in elementary school, we would have. Um, um, student winners like every day that that got to come down. They were nominated like by their you know their classroom or their teacher or something they'd done, and they got to come down and get a reward. And we would have like standard different ones. And I just what I like about it is that just like that one there, bring a fluffy friend. It doesn't have to be a thing. It doesn't have to be like junk in a junk drawer thing. Right, right? it can be a thing. It can be, it can be, be stuff activity, like we yeah. would do like. Uh, we would do like lunch with the assistant principal or we would do like fabulous phone call home where like we would call parents and say what an awesome, you know, student that they had. Or it would be like you're the pledge helper because we had fifth graders that led the pledge every day. And so you could come down and help the fifth grader lead the pledge or whatever it was. But we had a whole bunch of different ones. Um, and it was so nice because it didn't have to be like a junky thing. It was something that was actually meaningful and socially rewarding and it just had a lot more meaning as a reward um um and a recognition than some of the other stuff that we tend to do that's awesome so and i think that's a big part of what we're trying to get to so let, let's show these other templates mm -hmm. we'll, and, we'll walk through them and honestly i mean it, the reward on there doesn't have to be a reward like this one says match to and win you could use unit vocabulary you can use dinosaurs and if they get you know, two dinosaurs on their thing. Maybe they, you know, just scratching off is really reward enough. But, you so, know, like you said, maybe they get something. And so this, tangible. these have three pictures underneath. And then every third one, you get a new card, right? And um, the, so that template um, in particular is called the balloons because yeah. there's balloons so. and I can choose the text there. So it might be choose your, you know, pop your balloon prize. You can write whatever you want on that balloon template. Yep. So they're going to be one, two and three. In this case, I put two, then one or what, you know, 
one, two, one. Yep. And I'm going to show how to make this um, easier in a minute. Cause I made a change to the, to the program to make this a, <laughs> a little bit easier. We'll talk about that in a second, but the other templates pick a prize. Yep. So all three of these are prizes and they get to pick one. Yep. And then you'll put a, and you can see there where it says reward tickets. That's going to be the title that changes. Yep. The this picture text is that. under. Yep. Yep. And, and you can't, no matter how hard you look with the lights up, you can't see what's He's under. He's been it. trying to cheat. You can't cheat. I even put here. I'll put the. <laughs> I'll put my. Uh, You've been trying to cheat. You're gonna have, do the flashlight. I need the flashlight. And... I've checked. He's he's been right? like so, can't so see check what this it out. is. So there's our really bright light. Right? You can totally see through here, but not there. Can't see through it at all. So I <laughs> totally can't cheat on these things. So they are actually really kind of good for lottery kind of stuff. Um, so then the last one that has scratch off, I think, is this one. Yeah, right? there's there's a couple more, but um, this rectangle and there's one that's a circle like this. Okay, that Which are, are just, just basics. Basic, and you really can make it say whatever it is because yep. that's what Lesson Picks is about. It's you can use it for whatever you want. So you here's know? the the circle one right there. There's the circle yep. one. So so these are these are actually kind of fun. There are lots of other things you can use these for. Like, so one of the things I can show, uh, if we want to go back to, let's see, go back to here, here. Yeah. So we go back to here. So this is where they live in tickets. And all these are the, so you've got the balloons, the circle, the ice cream, the lucky duck, the match and win, the pick a prize, uh, basic rectangles. And all of these work great with scratch offs, mm -hmm. but they're not the only circles that we have. Absolutely. Right? So we can and it easily, even have to be circles. And they don't even have to be circles, but you can easily go in here instead and go to the create materials. If you just type in circle cards, right? And say next, we'll get to whatever's on this page in a second, but you can just say set the, the card size to exactly one inch. And those circles will be exactly one inch wide. Mm -hmm. uh, you get your grid layout, you can move things around. Um, and when, when they're done, it will make a page full of one inch one inch circles, little circles, yeah. right? And so that for whatever you can make a grid of them very easily. Um, another really good idea here would be the bingo daubers, right? So yep. um, if you look at, if you look at bingo daubers, these have a great spot for you to cover up. If you have the circles, if you have 20 or 15 per page, they usually fit right on there. Mm -hmm. um, if you have five per page, you'll It'll notice circles get big. pretty big, but they make two the inch, page. they make two inch um, scratch offs. So Maybe. those might work fine. So this is another really good use for these. And then Tally, you sent us uh, another one. Well, because another trick that kind of goes with tallies too is you can use picture cards or pretty much like if you were doing um, find the picture and the bigger picture, you could have scratch offs on the side and just make um, your boxes white. If right. Let me show that. Box so around. find the picture. Find the picture doesn't have boxes, but um, but they work just the same. Well, then let's do something else. Let's do something that has boxes on it. Yeah, anything that has boxes on it. Let's do uh, Arctic trials, right? So you do Arctic trials, and you do fifty things. And just the box color by default on that is white, right? So if I if the box color was black, you'd get a grid of squares, right? But and I don't know how many things I had on my tray. You have a lot of things. I have a lot of things. And right. that's going to repeat them. Right. But that's if you good. don't want all of these squares around the pictures, mm -hmm. right, you just choose, make the box color, color white, and all the squares will go away. I guess another one would be visual schedules. Visual Any schedules. visual schedule, you can get rid of the box around it. And then the kids, you know, then you're masking what's coming next and making it super exciting to see what you're going to do next. Right. <laughs> It might so. be cool around, sorry to jump in, it might be cool around uh, leading up to um, to the holidays as a, a versions of an advent calendar. Mm -hmm. Scratch yeah. off like activities leading up to. And another one would be theme mats that, that you made me think of. Theme mats usually have circles mm. around them, but there is Christmas trees, um, a baseball mitt with a bunch of circles on it. So yeah, once again. So let's show yeah, just one thing. Let's show what she had us print. So this is a really good idea. And Tally, you'll have to explain this. Yeah. So I I was thinking, I love using this book uh, in therapy. It's called Zoom. It's called and what? Zoom. You're gonna make her big. All right. 
so we can see. I'll just give you the context for a second. So I have two ideas of how to use this with the dots and boxes uh, templates. So this is the one idea. So I love this book, Zoom, and I use it when I'm working on the a, the combination vowel A, A, and R. So R, like in words like party, cart, heart. And the reason this book is fantastic is you're zooming out of a picture. Every page you progressively zoom out, right? So here oh it looks like a girl is- Oh, that's neat. Is, playing there they're on a it's by uh you know on a magazine but then that magazine's actually on a cruise ship but then that cruise ship is on a bus and every time you're seeing here sorry i'll get to the bus you're seeing everything is part of another picture so it gives me a way to work on the word part 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 in a repetitive way with um older kids you know where i don't want to really uh use very um small small books for them but i need to to repeat the same word over and over and so i thought it'd be really fun with the doc, dots and boxes uh template bill if you want to uh put that one big now i'll explain yes, you there thank you so here's a dots and boxes game this isn't mine i found it in the sharing center so somebody else had shared that sharing center is a wealth of uh of materials and so here you can see it's all of those words that have the r in them and we've just hidden a few. And so you could scratch a little by little and see if based on getting a part, the child can guess what the actual uh, word is behind it. And so you'll just scratch a little bit and then scratch a little bit more and scratch a little bit more and then see um, how many, um, how, you know, how many uh, scratches they need before they can, can guess what it word. is. Yeah, so it's red, like maybe it's, uh, I, I know it's got something to do with R, so maybe it's a heart. All right, and then Bill will scratch a little bit more. And let's see, now I have another clue. You cheated, you knew oh, it was Oh, I there. knew it, I knew it. Well, I knew it was all R words. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just, I can read, so I just do the bottom one. <laughs> Wait, I, watch how quick I can guess this one. Party. <laughs> is it a plug for party time bingo? Right there? It must be, <laughs> another plug. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> it actually is a lot of fun to scratch these things. It shouldn't be this much, you. this exciting. And I'll I tell you, we're taking something for the grown-ups at the convention. In the we, we are going to be using this at the CEC. Awesome. At the uh, at the um, tech Expo. tech playground. Tech playground. Tech right. playground. And that that actually is where Beth will be most of the time, I think. So so yeah. So this is another great idea. This is the dots game, right? And so another thing that you could do is. Um, if they get a box around this, then they get whatever's under it, right? So a yeah. hidden spot for them to go to. Should uh, should we run through quickly how to play? Because I'm not sure everybody knows how to play this game, and it's brilliant. Sure. How do you so, play? How do you so play? We take turns drawing lines. You can only draw lines vertically or horizontally, and they can only go from dot to dot. So I love this game for lateral lists because we're always looking for words that end in t that you can stretch to an s. So we go dots. Can, do you have to start dots. at the corner or not? Yes. So uh, yeah. So well, you I gonna, So we're gonna just go from here. Oh, you don't have to start at a corner. You, you go what, whatever dot you want. No, you can choose any dot in the in the page and just uh -huh. go. You can only do one line to one line. And so <laughs> Bill takes a turn. Lori takes a turn. Bill takes a turn. Lori takes a turn. Whoever makes a square they win that square so you put your initial in it and whoever <laughs> we, has the we most know how to play this edge. game <laughs> and she's so competitive we won't make a square for like 20 minutes <laughs> just for the record maybe but if you put your line down <laughs> then i can actually uh you know I'll i'm sorry it. you were saying who's competitive <laughs> And if you make a square, you get to go again, right? I love the word fart. That's so funny. <laughs> there we go. Um, so very, very great. Like a fantastic <gasps> game for motor speech. Oh, he set you up. He set I'm, you up. I must love you. That's, 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 that's I got it. it. Yeah. And you get to go again. You get oh, to scratch perfect. and go again. So maybe you do bonus points for scratching and uh, and then go again. What is that? <gasps> it's a charm. Did I just win a charm? You just won a charm. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. And I get to go again. I've got two boxes only because you let me. <laughs> only because I let her. That's exactly right. All right. So um, for those of you who don't know the dots game, that's under one of our templates as well. But now we can make it even better with these stupid stickers. And I'll tell you, <laughs> so we've got videos of our grandkids going absolutely bonkers over these things. They love, love Absolutely it. bonkers. And they so, just wanted to do another one. They didn't really care. They didn't about care the what they won. 
I mean, they love to see the picture and talk about it, but they didn't need a price. They were just thrilled to see what was under the dot. So, so uh, Tally, I did post a, a link to the um, to the uh, Zoom book in the in oh, the perfect. chat, and uh, I'd like to get up. Maybe, yeah. All right, so I can share my screen, and we can talk about what we're doing. Well, before you go to oh. that on that one. Oh, we have more to show here. I just want to show you a couple more little Amazon add-ons. Yeah, all right. One. Let's see. Well. This is another one we're going to be making. You can buy spinners. Yeah. Um, you can not just, yeah, we, we make the spinners. You can buy the, the needle. Yeah. And it doesn't show how well that spun. Maybe, maybe this one will work better. It, up, well, it looked good. Well, it actually did. You could see it. It, like, it was a really good, like, yeah. zoom, you know. It's like, this is, yeah, this is like the way to do this. I mean, we print, we print out needles on our uh our, on when, our pages when you make the template it has a drawing of a needle next to it which i have cut out and punched holes and then i've added a washer the needle and then a brad in order to get it up above the paper to spin but again you're trying to spin a piece of paper right. laminated is a little better but these are just the right size too mm -hmm. so we have right. we have these amazon thingies and we're going to bring these to the cec for the the thing right and these cost yes we're we're having these as well and what did these cost i have a link ten dollars for I believe i have a link for nope. 50 of them did you send me a link i did are you sure i did no oh, you did but i did um, and you copied it uh is it that one yeah are you sure so, so while they're figuring out where the link oh, is, got it. for we anyone got it. watching this, we're going to be at CEC and we're going to be, we're going to have a regular booth, but we're also going to be in the tech playground. And at the tech playground, we're going to be doing the fun make and takes with the spinners and the scratch offs. So it'll be, you'll get to walk away with goodies. And bookmarks too. And bookmarks, that's right. Bookmarks too. So and they're, they're not just going to get the little tokens. They're going to be able to make the ones they want. So mm -hmm. we'll have... We'll have some things pre-made if, if you want to make something quickly, but if you want to take the time and make something specific to your kiddos, uh, we will. Uh, we'll have a printer. Help you do that. Yeah, we'll have a couple. So for some reason, the YouTube is posting these just fine, uh, and Amazon it seems to be taking two tries to be posting these links. Hmm. And I will try again. Let's see. In the last uh... second time, it seems to be working. Must have our best favorite craft sticks. Craft sticks. Oh, go with all your lesson picks visuals too. Well, let me let me show that. <laughs> you, they can't see you right now. So there you go. There you go. Oh my god! Wow. And look at the <gasps> ink. Look how look how bright those are. You want to tell Bam. them how you make them all so bright? My latest trick. Lori's latest trick. I print these kind of visuals at Staples. Yeah. And then when you it. laminate them, they look She does stunning. it online. She sends it to Staples online, and they come out just perfect every and I time. I don't have to spend my ink. Yeah. So. But I don't do this with everything, just with the true keeper stuff. The stuff, stuff that's going in the booth. So, <laughs> yeah. Or this, or this stuff I'm going to use again and again. Gotcha. With the kiddos. All right. So what else are we going to, we were just talking about the conference. So the conference in this case is, um, is, what? is the CEC conference in Louisville. And a bunch of people we know are going to be there. Um, but a, a lot of groups are going to be there that are not. See, I just got all the comments. So all the comments. Oh, it's people, acting funky. It's so messed up today. So we got... We got all these comments from from people that just showed up. So, Darla, I'm sorry I didn't post that earlier. So, um, we're going to be at the CEC conference in Louisville from March 1st to the 4th, which means we're flying out tomorrow. Yep, Council for of Ex Exceptional Children. Yes, mm -hmm. and um, been a member for years. I don't know why it takes me a second. Yep, and so this is so this is not a speech path thing. It's not an AT thing. It is a uh, a special ed group. Um, if you if you're not familiar with the CEC, you should be. Uh, they move this one around, and then they also have the CEC Dad Conference, which we've been to. They have lots of CEC. They have Dad. They have um, Case. They have a lot of different ones. Yeah. We will be at uh, booth 514, and we will also be in the Tech Playground, which uh, is... Beth, you'll be there twice, right? So you'll be there once 
Um, I'm going to be, I'm going to have a couple of uh, events at the tech playground. Mm, not necessarily as, I won't be as less in picks, but I'm going to be doing really fun things. We're going to be making, um, we're going to be making uh, sensory tubes. I'll, you know, I'll have, for those that want to, that for those that can pack their, in their care and don't have a carry on, we can do that. But I'm going to do ones where it's beads also. And uh, we're going to do other fidgets. And then um, that I've got two of those going on. And then I'm going to spend, I think it's Friday morning. I can't keep track at this point, to be perfectly honest, where I'm supposed to be when. But um, I think Friday morning is we're going to be all day at, I mean, all morning with the Lesson Picks um, Tech Playground booth. And Cassie Frost, the um, awesome uh, Cassie Frost is going to be helping me out at the uh, at the tech playground for, at the Lesson Picks Tech Playground because I think we're Thursday. Yeah, from Thursday. Noon to five. Thursday. There we go. Thank you. You're welcome. And we'll I'll, also I'll be supposed to be when I get there, but you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, and when you're not there, you'll either be uh, at sessions or in the booth. So yeah, I'll be in. We will see everybody who's there. Um, and we have um, one other thing happened this week, right? The Readtopia Go. Uh, Thing Before you close. go, one more thing on the CEC. If you're going, come by and see us at booth 514. We're going to have a raffle for our In a Story, which has oh, do those. You have, do you have one of those I kits? I don't. I packed them up because we're on our flight tomorrow. So if you guys remember, we did we did a um, a giveaway in December of the basket that had the entire In a Story. But I the do book. have another one. You want me to go grab go it? Go get it. Okay. Go get it. So oh, I'll explain it. So we will do a, uh, here, I'm going to cover up the QR codes. So nobody can sign up oh. now. But they'll be uh, giving away, like in this case, there's a little engine that could and the snowy day. And then all of the materials that you make in lesson picks that go with it. So for those, if, if you're not familiar with um, In a Story, if you're in Lesson Picks and you go to articles, there's a section called uh, In a Story right here. And in here is like a billion stories or 800 stories or some ridiculous number of stories where Beth and Lori and, and uh, Teresa and other speech paths and special ed teachers um, have gone in and made just a ton of material. So if you're doing Dot the Fire Dog, right? You've got all the materials that go with it. The color monster. Or the, let's, see, let's see if Lori can hop up again. Uh, this is she, skill. She's vertically challenged like Beth. So and me. And and Tally. <laughs> you don't you know, I didn't know that until I met you at Asha. So yeah. You hide that well. So the drawing Thank is you. for a gift bag with a book, and you can choose your book. I'll hold the book. And then with your book, you get pre this is the, the big deal for us was. The pre-printed materials, so you get things like number cards with the little clothespins in it, the little popsicle stick characters. You know, you get everything, and it's all like beautifully printed stuff. I'm super Staples excited printed, right? about. Yes. And what else is in there? Oh my gosh! There's oh look a spinner. Look at that, and that's and it's going to come with the actual spinner. Has a little book that you can put together. This should come with the actual spinner. Good idea. Yeah, it will. Um, <laughs> you know, we're talking about feelings on color monsters. So this is our chart table. So a lot of cool stuff. Vocabulary words that go with the book. And now, how many of these are we giving away? I, yeah, five or six. Five or six. Yes. And probably a printer. Yes, so we'll be giving away a lot of stuff, but you got to come to the Lesson Picks booth to sign up for this stuff. You can't sign up from remote, and we're not shipping it to you. You have to be at the CEC conference. So, or at the AOTA conference in March. Gotcha. In, in April. AOTA in April. In April. Thank you, Beth. April 19th, 20th, somewhere in there. All right, read Topia Go. What's going on there? All right, Beth. Yeah, so um, I, I know people have been hearing about this and are super excited. So Readtopia, so Building Wings, the folks that brought you uh, Readtopia, which is for third through high school age students, and it's um, emergent to conventional literacy supports and curriculum, um, has now come out with um, their pre-K through second grade 
curriculum called Retopia Go. Um, and it is the new comprehensive early literacy curriculum. I'm so excited about it. It was designed in consultation with, um, based on amazing should, work. Should. Of, yep, Sorry, that's, okay. that's it. That's the one. That's what I want to show. Yeah. Right. Um, and from Karen Erickson and David Copenhaver based on their book, Compre Comprehensive Literacy for All. Um, Caroline Musselwhite, you know, has uh, has done some consultation with this. The amazing um, Maureen Donnelly um, and her team at Building Wings, and it is it's beautiful. It is all it is a it, right now. It's a digital curriculum. It's going to be released. Um, it's going to be released, I believe, March first. So in just a couple of days, mm -hmm. and we were um, very fortunate to collaborate with them on. Uh, creating a communication book support. So we've got a flip book that you can download for free. So if you're familiar with the Readtopia version of the flip book, um, this is a little bit of a scaled down version of it, thinking younger students, and then you can build up. But then we've added, um, they've created and we've created a range of different um, resources that go along with the curriculum. So fun bingo activities, games, um, vocabulary maps for different units, um, uh, resources, you know, all of that. So it's uh, it's all in there. Um, that's the article. It should also link you to their page. Um, and I don't think it's live yet. They're taking like their pre-orders. Yeah. It says, um, yeah, pre pre sign. Right, exactly. So and I, um, I did see the note from them on Facebook that it's shipping this week, that they're going live this week. They're going live with it this week. And it's really just beautiful. I mean, it's just, it's, uh, you know, it's going to hit all of the things that Retopia has hit for older students, um, but it's going to be appropriate for those younger students. Um, and I think early childhood educators are going to be so excited to get their hands on this really, really well-designed uh, curriculum and all the really awesome resources that will be available from Lesson Picks to support it. Yeah, and you can download the whole flip book. And, um, and that's for everybody. That's not just for yeah. uh, members. Anybody yeah. can download this. They just use our symbols. They've been great. Um, they've been really easy partners. Uh, you can print this in one go. Um, and, and they've got basically the things you need to support all of the um, all of the the different stories and other things that are in this curriculum. You've right. you've gone through. Beth has gone yeah. through. Yeah, it's four. And, the really exciting thing is it's four years worth of curriculum. So yeah. they it's and it's 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 they're releasing uh, much like Retopia. It's not all being released all at once. You'll have enough to get started, and then they're going to continue. Um, to release it around really um, uh, typical early childhood themes of like family and animals and the community and uh, uh, nature. So there's a lot of science and, and social studies integrated into it. Um, but it's designed to provide um, a classroom teacher with four years worth of resources because we know a lot of times, especially in early childhood, you're going to cycle through maybe at least two years with the same group of students. And so you'll be able to, you know, to build on that and support students across from early emergent um, up through early conventional um, uh reading skills, literacy skills, reading and writing skills, um, along with a lot of supports built in for um, students with a range of different disabilities, including um, uh, physical and cortical visual impairments. So they've, they've taken, they're taking all of that into consideration. So yeah, it's been great to work with them and very excited to see this product go live. And I can't wait till I get my link for it and I can really dive into something uh, dive into the real version of it. So, Well, it sounds like that's going to be this week. So that'll be pretty cool. Um, so, Tally, you shared something. Do you want me to show that? The one with the numbers? Is that what you're looking at? Yes, ma'am. Sure, sure. Yeah, I can, I can give you another it, uh, so, quick idea. Yeah, so, so before we finish, um, everybody check out um, Readtopia Go. Uh, Readtopia, if you got older kids. Also, it's it's any order, right? You can you can do the units in any order, right? So like There's if a lot you, of flexibility. right? Exactly. You don't have to go. You don't have to. It's not an order to it. You choose what you. Uh, you know, maybe it's going to be based on uh, student interest, or it's going to be based on um, uh, 
uh, you know, the time of year, you know, you're, you, you, you have that flexibility um, and it all builds on each other. Um, cool. So, yeah. Tally, have you used Retopia or Retopia Go? No, I, I'm I'm learning learning as we go. This it's really interesting. I actually didn't even know about your article uh, section on the on the, on the site. In the story, the in the I didn't story know the section. Story, and that's, oh, that's like so you know, you. that's you're, you're very me. That. Right. <laughs> so, so I'm going to create for... one for party animals. <laughs> should. Yeah, sure. that's a good idea. We'll send us a book. Um, no, yeah. we'll, we will. Uh, Beth has it. I see. I, I'm, I'm like Beth. reaching for it on my shelf. I have it right here. I think I, I have it right here. Too. I can write. The, I can the other. Let me get back from CEC and I'll write the article. <laughs> there you go. Yes. All right. Um, but you had something to share. So let me add this to the stream and. Yeah, so this was another idea just for that same dots and boxes uh, template. If you put your uh, stickers, the, the ticket stickers onto each of the numbers, then you can up the ante of the dots and boxes game and get points depending on where you land. So some of your boxes can be worth more than others. Gotcha. And having more boxes doesn't just make you win. <laughs> so Ooh, and you can't see them. You can't right. see. And uh, right. a little bit of math in addition there. Yeah, look at that. Keep track. Little tally cards. Get it? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so I actually this leads me back to something that I would have forgotten to show folks. Um, and so I'm really glad we're we're back here. Let me get back because I made a change to lesson picks. Oh and yeah, you mentioned. This, I, I might, I might have mentioned this, uh, but yeah. So, so we we made one other change that this will actually help a lot with. So let me. So when when I went to do this, when I went to um, when I went to use the 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 cover ups, the the uh, scratch offs, one of the things that I would want to do if it was a page full would have been to say, or, or even if it's like even rewards, three, right? regardless, right. It, I don't want to have to go figure out all of the things. Like if I've got one big award and a lot of little ones, right, or, or maybe a lot of nothings, I don't want to have to add them to the tray and figure out the order. I just want to throw them in there and randomize them, right? So I thought, well, okay, I can do that. I have a randomized tool now in my share in my tray, right? So I went and I created some, some things. This will show it well. Like I'd have like a plus one star, a plus two star, plus five star and maybe a, a note home from the from the, the teacher and these are the rewards I want to get so they're they're gaining tokens towards the some some there's some you know behavior management system where the stars mean something and maybe there's something else in here like I don't know a fidget I don't know I'm searching at a fidget and we have a lot but we have lots of fidget pictures right so here yeah, we'll get a fidget okay All right, this, this is a good one yeah this is a good one so I've got the pictures that I want in here, but now I want to make a bunch of reward cards. When I go to create materials and I choose tickets, and I'm going to choose the scratch off one. By the way, you can also search here for scratch off and you'll get the tickets as well. We'll hit next, <clears throat> but here, well, okay, I've got a good note home. I've got, a, let's call this a fidget. Um, and what I really want to say is, okay, so I want to have a whole lot of one stars. I want to have like, I don't know, 15 of these. I want to have like five, five, two stars, one, one star, a good note home and a fidget. Right. And I want to put them on a page for them to scratch off. Well, if I, I have a tool where I want to randomize these, but right here, if I, if I hit shuffle before I change this, it literally would just shuffle these rows like this mm -hmm. and it would keep them together. And that doesn't do what we want at all. So there's a new change. If you do shuffle here before it shuffles it, it expands all the rows. So now if you have colored backgrounds. We'll uh, expand yeah, let's, the let's, backgrounds let's make too. some colored backgrounds. So we'll make that, uh, make this one bright green and like a, I don't know, a yellow and like a gray. Maybe blue. Okay. Navy, navy blue. Yeah, set that star. Sure. And a good, we'll leave the other two <laughs> white. Okay. So when I go in here and I say shuffle, it will actually go through and split them all out. And you'll see that I have a lot more ones than I have anything else because I, I had more ones in yeah, my 15, tray. Yeah. Right. So now if I go through and I make these things, 
They're all randomized. They come out in random order, but they also expand so that I can go in and and get the ones that I want. So it makes small it change. makes it more likely to get the small prizes and less likely to get the big prizes. And it made it a lot easier. So I like that change. So you go through and we'll make um, what do you want? I would do the 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 basic ones. The basic ones. Scratch off rectangles. Or even the other one, circle. Scratch off circles. Scratch off circles. Perfect. Very basic one. And we'll hit finish. This will make my PDF file. And in this case, you're probably going to cut these out. So randomizing them didn't matter. But it still did make, you know, it more you have more of the smaller prizes and less of the bigger ones. If you're on like a, a circle page or something like that, any material now, this actually makes it, um, there's a lot of places where this might be handy, right? So so if you're using the Arctic Trials um, game, uh, layout and you want to randomize them, this this works for you. So, yes? Love it. Love it. Okay. All right. So there's a, um, we are, so our next conference after CEC is AOTA. AOTA. Oh, right. I think right? Beth is, are you going to something else in between? Well, no. I'll be at the Patents Tech Expo. That's... I'll be at, I'll be at um, uh, AAC in the desert uh, the week after next. So not this week, but in the following week, I'll be at AAC in the desert getting gotcha. to share some awesome lessons. And we have, we have OTs that are excited and I'm sure our, our OTs, so we will have Alyssa Wern and, and uh, Judy Schoonover will be there as well. And so that'll be a lot of fun. Uh, but this week we're at CEC. So if you're in Louisville, come see us and uh, tell us you saw us here and we'll give you rewards of some sort. How about that? <laughs> we'll give you spinners. We'll, we'll send you over to Beth in the tech. You can make something right. cool in the, in the make and take. Yeah, exactly. There you go. <laughs> All right. Well, we're good. Uh, we went a little over, but we're getting better at trying to stick to an hour. We're only a minute and 48 seconds over. And I bet we spent that much time on garbage. So <laughs> um, you know, like waiting for the little spinning thing in the beginning. Oh, okay. So, uh, so. I wondered what so, Tally in, 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 so I don't see any questions that are unanswered. If anybody has any questions, post them really quick because we're about to kill this. Tally, is there anything um that we didn't cover that you'd like to about um I don't know about about the, the party time bingo or anything else? Where do I find the Kickstarter? I so, have a link. Well, I think we'll put the link in the chat. Um, I can uh, share the page now so that you can look at what it, uh, you can see what it looks like. Yeah. Um, and oh, thank you, you. Thanks, Bill. Um, so that's kind of the, the page that you land on. If you're going to do it, you, you sign up for uh, Kickstarter. And then there's different videos of how the game looks, how it works, and the different uh, pledges that you can, can make below. So I am going to post real quick the link to the Kickstarter campaign. And that did go through this time. And there was a, a link. Somebody asked a question. Um, so, so a couple things. Um, do you have any, is there, a, is there a limit on the time at which point they pull the plug? Yes. Uh, so we are until March 23rd. And then the plug is pulled after March 23rd. So if they, Actually, that's it, coming quick. It's, yes. Yes, yeah. it's short. So it's a short fuse. You don't have to wait yeah. very long to know if you're going to get this. Yes. Yeah. Now, yeah. I will it, tell you that there's a, very, long. <laughs> there's a very, there's a very short, a very cute um, video in the beginning of this that shows um, kids playing it that um, everybody should just watch. Um, we, oh, here. Oh, I keep trying to uh, scroll up on your screen and not mine. <laughs> you want to put on hers? Oh, there. there She's go. got it. it. Is. It's right there. There you go. We're not going to get the video out of it, I don't think. But it, it, it definitely shows happy children. <laughs> um, and th did that just pause? Kick your party. Did you oh, yeah, I can it? keep it. There you go. Yeah, let it, let it play. So um, we have a question that says, which link is for the scratch-off stickers? I can post that while people watch that cute video. These are the, these are the ones we recommend. Um, and I'll post them again to... Um, Right, scratch Facebook off. Scratch off stickers. And and some of them are not as good as others. Uh, so so Beth, um, that's the link. It's not you, Beth. Beth, uh, Beth Michael. Ah. Um, yes, yeah, some so of them. That's like, the link I just posted. On Amazon, these silver circles were wonderful. 
I got gold ones. They were wonderful. I got cool looking iridescent ones that look so neat. They're really hard to scratch off. I yeah. had a hard time with them. And these work great, but they kind of smell. <laughs> I mean, they're not bad, not bad, but they're kind of chemical smelling. Yeah. We might need to air out. I don't, I don't think they're going to hurt you. They, they just, they, they smell like chemicals. So, um, so yeah, Michael says, thanks. Beth, Michael says, thanks. You're welcome, Beth. All right. Um, I think we are, we are good. I think that's all the questions. And, uh, Beth, uh, did you have anything else you wanted to add? No, I don't think so. I know I've got, I got my next assignment. I'm going to write an article for party animals. So that's good. Good assignment. Yay. I like it. All right. And, um, We'll see you all. Beth, we'll see you in person tomorrow night. Tomorrow. Hop and on uh, we'll see everybody in Louisville. <laughs> well, I, I, drinks are on me. It's a big drink town. Like, if you look up <laughs> what to do in Louisville, you know what they tell you? Bourbon. <laughs> you're gonna do bourbon. You're gonna go to Whiskey Row, and you're gonna you're gonna do bourbon. And I, I, I like bourbon. should have should have should, should be bringing my husband. But you no. should be bringing your husband. Steve would be a, bring Steve. I'll hang with Steve. You guys can work the booth. Oh, oh good. thanks, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, all right, we'll see everybody later. Thank you, everybody, for your time. And uh, we'll probably do another one of these after the CEC and before AOTA. Probably. And support Tally's Kickstart. We want to make it happen. That's Thank right. You Remember, so if you don't support it, it's not going to happen. So that's it. Yeah. That's we're right. really counting on our community. That's right. <laughs> all right. You. Thanks, everybody. Good night.